On April 13th, I uploaded a video on nutritiously dense ultralight backpacking food. In today's video, I'm sharing the cereal recipe that I was originally going to take, which I then converted into the protein balls. This recipe is not only beneficial for anybody that's doing long outdoor physical activities, whether that's hunting, biking, hiking, fishing, canoeing, camping, etc. This is something that you can eat at home every single day. And providing you omit the sugar and ferment this in either water kefir, milk kefir, fermented whey, or whatever starter that you choose, and leave it on your counter for four or five days to ferment, this can also be part of a ketogenic low carb diet. The ingredients for this recipe are in the description box below, as well as how to convert these into protein balls. To make my instant oat cereal, I combined some pumpkin seed flour. So this is just pumpkin seeds that I grinded into a powder form. For this 4.5 liters, I added two cups of the pumpkin seed flour. I added two cups of cocoa nips. That's got natural caffeine in it, which will be a nice little pick-me-up. I added four cups of flaked coconut that is unrefined and unsweetened. And I added eight cups of oats, but what I did is I ran it through the magic bullet to make it into a fine powder. You'll see that there's some large chunks still there, but the most of it I ground into a powder uh, just because it makes it quicker for soaking. And then I added a cup of cocoa powder. I use extra fat cocoa. I believe this has 30% fat. I buy the one that has the highest percentage of fat. I added a full cup of sugar to this. And the reason I add the sugar to this is because I'm going to allow it to ferment. I will make this either at night for the next morning or I will make it in the morning for the night. And I want the sugar so that it will ferment. I added a, a cup of chai mix, which is cinnamon, nutmeg, cloves, and anise powder. To this, I'm adding 227 grams of goji berry. These are dried. And now I just added two cups of whole milk powder. And so there it is. I have five quarts of cereal. That's interesting as I was getting ready to put this away, I found this and forgot. I had put this entire bottle, which is a pint, of roasted wheat germ into this cereal. And so how this will work is I will store it in little pouches like this. This is a half a cup. And I will empty the pouch into this pint-sized jar. like so and then I will add my water and some water kefir like so more water than is necessary because I want everything to fully hydrate and then I'll put a lid on it and I will put it on the outside sleeve of my backpack where you'd normally put a water bottle and then that way it stays upright and it will ferment for the day and then whenever I'm ready to eat it it'll be ready for me and so it's important that you try this before you go out hiking so that you know what you need to adjust. I can already tell I need a little bit of salt in this. Mmm. That tastes like, do you guys remember haystack cookies? That's almost what it tastes like. Yum. That's going to be delicious on the road. But yes, I think what I'll do is because that's part of my electrolytes, I'll add just a pinch of salt to each bag. That's perfect. I have that bit of sweet and salty. 